Hey kid, this story is fast. Oh, I like fast. This story is also furious. Ooh, I'm always furious. And it involves elves. Cool. Ew. And Santa Claus. Cool, cool. Ew, ew. And competition. Ooh, now we're talking. Uh, is there like blood curling screams involved in the competition? What? No. Uh, I'm out of here. I'm totally in. I'm in too. You in? Let's do this. Twelve sleighs of Christmas. Fa la 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 la. And you're thinking, storyteller, what is going on with this sleigh? Let's see. We may see some non-traditional sleighs happening here. A little bit of elf creativity happening. I've said too much. Let us open the page and see for ourselves. Already. We open up to see blueprints. Blueprints of what is that? And that, what, I can't, oh, what? Is that a, a, oh, this is very complex. Like a, what, and then the thing, oh, it's, yeah. All that. -la 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 -la. Two weeks before Christmas and every elf is building, rushing, racing, busy. Every elf is in a tizzy, but a good tizzy because look, Everyone is smiling, ba -la 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 -la. because this is the busiest, happiest, jolliest time of the year and the jolliest place on the planet. NP, you know where, right? You know what that stands for? North Pole. Mm. Building bikes or trikes or trucks, puzzles, games, and rubber ducks. Mending the suit that Santa wears. And last but not least, sleigh repairs. And here comes a whole troop of elves who are coming to do the mechanics, all armed with their special candy cane uh, brooms and wrenches and things and sleigh wax and carrying the most important accoutrement of all. A can of magic. A team goes in to check the sleigh, stored here since last Christmas Day. A simple tune-up, wash and wax, check the runners, then relax. Tim, crew chief and head mechanic, swings the doors wide and then panic! Oh no! Oh, panic! There's panic! All right, I'm gonna stick around after all. I thought you had left. <laughs> hey, you just never know with me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah. Okay, panic. Why are they panicking? Because look, look, it looks terrible. What happened to the beautiful sleigh? That is like a foundational serious crack and there's a hole in the seat. That is not worthy of Santa at all. And, and oh no, I don't even know if this can be repaired. This is, you can't land on such bent up in that, in the, oh no, what happened in storage? The sleigh is totaled, smashed, and battered. The elves are rocked. They're shocked. It shattered. Oh no. Remember all those happy faces from before? No more. Oh, ah, oh, yeah, no. He even threw his candy cane wrench. That's how upset he is. And this one can't even bear to look. The worried elves all gather around. Some shake their heads, some gasp, some frown. What happened? They could only guess. They size up the tremendous mess. Did St. Nick nick buildings while zooming by? Or catch some treetops in the sky? Well, team, we have a lot of work to do. Come on now, let's get busy, crew. Strip it bare, rebuild it new, repair upholstery, fix the dash, and the chassis's really trashed. I'd say it is. Before they can fix the hole, they have to restuff that that chair because Santa has to be sitting in that thing all night long. It can't be lumpy. It can't be flat. It has to be perfect. Everything has to be perfect for it to work just right. So everybody's dashing about looking uh, pretty frantic now. I don't know what a whisk is going to do here, but maybe somebody needs an omelet right now. Or maybe... Let's soup it up and give it fuel. Hot rodder out and make it cool. Big block, twin turbo, fuel injected. Suspension tuning all perfected. Nitrous burning supercharged. Lighter chassis pipes enlarged. What? Are they plussing the sleigh in their minds already? 
And soon, every elf mechanic is so excited, shouting, frantic. Each is sure that their design will be divine, the most fantastic. Then they all begin to bicker. Which design is cooler, quicker? Ooh, is this the part where the, they start to fight to the death? No, there is no fighting to the death. This is the North Pole. This is a happy place, which Jeff has said. <laughs> we'll see about that. Uh, you know, you, you, she doesn't understand at all the meaning of Christmas. Nobody's fighting. There are no blood curdling screams. You'll see, just, just a little friendly competition. And so, a dozen teams are set. They crowd around and make a bet. Which team can build the coolest sleigh for Santa's use that special day? That awesome day's most awesome ride? A build off, and Santa will decide. All else on deck, all else on deck, we have ourselves a build off. With Christmas Eve just days away, work is quickly underway. Behind closed doors, designs are sketched, and then supplies are quickly fetched. All sorts of odd and wondrous things. Gizmos, motors, wings, and springs. Around the clock, they race full tilt. They go warp speed to get them built. And look around, look at this. Top secret ideas, they're all cordoning off their teams by ideas and they have their own plans in each one. And this one's peaking, spy. And over here, more ideas. And these guys are working behind closed doors. And this one has a top secret area as well. All the teams have all separated to work out their math, their designs, getting their supplies. You can see everything is frantic. It is moving people because Christmas is almost here. Welder spark in the dark, hammers bang, tools clang, all night long, going strong, grinding, buzzing, clanking, whirling, twirling, cranking, a squeal, eee! a honk, a bonk, a splat, quack, a quack, quack. That's weird. Goodness gracious, what was that? You know what that was? Elves at work, work. The elves are working, work, work. They're working in North Pole. The first day. Build Team 1 reveals a dragster sleigh that really squeals with gliders, though, instead of wheels. How's this for high-speed Christmas cheer? That reindeer thing is so last year. Just pop this baby into gear. Oh, reindeers are so last year? Uh, maybe they can come over to visit us, right? If they're not busy Christmas Eve. And in a blink, it's gone so high, racing comets through the sky. And just as fast, it's back. Shoot, pops, slowly, slowly, till it stops. Flip the engine switch and hiss. That's hot. Could kids really sleep through this? Oh, the Papa Elf, he has a point. It was a little bit loud. On day two, team two decides that the sleigh that Santa rides should be a big rig, mountain sized, a tricked out semi truck that flies, a tractor trailer customed out just right for hauling toys about, a gleaming grill and giant stacks, and a sleeper cab if Santa naps. Look at this thing. It's like a truck dream, a monster truck, but it's a monster sleigh. And under the gigantic hood, whoa, now this is really good. A huge twin turbo diesel fueled inline 6,000 blizzard cooled. A giant engine makes it fast. Air horn sound, a giant blast. Headlines shine through any storm and heated seats keep Santa warm. Heated seats, I like that. I hope they also thought to include a cup holder for his ho ho co co. I can't uh, keep from wondering what roof on earth could hold that thing. Uh, once again, Papa Elf with some just plain old wisdom. And also, he must show something about architecture. Wait, one look at that thing and, yeah, nah, no ways our roof can hold up under that thing. Oh well. I know, but it was so cool. Maybe it'll go into a museum. And it continues. Wait, there's more. Day three. Team three's been working feverishly. Finally, that elf team unveils a floating ship with 50 sails. Yo ho, yo ho. 
And the clever Crusoe Wise has very thoughtfully devised a telescoping arm and hand so Santa never needs to land. He'll simply use this handy scope and drop the gifts with this remote. Now that is intriguing. You don't have to land it on anything, so it doesn't matter if it's too heavy for a roof. On day four, Team Four's creation, a fantastic combination, part blimp and part hot air balloon, part rocket made to touch the moon, part hot rod car for extra zip, presenting our ball impulse ship. Okay, that is a mouthful. And here we go, it goes up, and then there's a boop, and there's a, uh, there's a fire off and there's a poof. And I don't know, that doesn't look so good. And then there's a crash. That might have been a little ambitious. And now we're on to team five. Day five, something inspired by the big trucks that they've all admired. A snowplow, front for clearing sleet, a tractor cab for Santa's seat, complete with heat to stop the chill, and cup holder so his drink won't spill. Bulldozer tracks, a dump truck back, a turbo blast to make it fast. So fast that, oh, run, oh my goodness, oh! Yeah, that is really fast and powerful. And that, again, though, I'm concerned about the, the weight on the roof. It does look very promising, though. Day six, the Team Six invention. This is sure to get attention. It's a motorcycle sleigh. Saint Nick will love to ride this way, roaring through the open sky with dual exhaust so he can fly. It's slick, it's quick, it's got some kick. A sidecar is used to hold the toys and straight pipes make an awesome noise. But holy moly, what a sound. What kid could sleep with this around? Oh yeah, remember? A whole thing with Santa's that he's like super quiet. It's kind of sneaky, right? He's traveling all over the world and nobody sees him or hears him. Except in the movies. Everybody sees him and hears him in the movies. Feel kind of jealous about that, right? Right? And so on and on it goes. Day seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Aquatic, atomic, gigantic inventions, flying saucers, trucks with wings, all sorts of clever, crazy things. Pulleys, levers, secret rooms, gizmos, gadgets, levers, booms, engines, runners, gliders, tracks, high tech souped up to the max. This is incredible. Do you see this thing? Wow! Is that like a submarine sleigh? I do think so. What, what is he doing there? What is he pouring there? You know, Green Bear, I think that looks like maple syrup. Oh, I knew it. I know maple syrup from anywhere. I know. He really does. And this one's a UFO. Whoa. And then this one's like a flying Jeep contraption. And then I don't, I don't, what, what is that thing? I don't even know. And then this one's like a train sleigh. And on the 12th day, oh, Christmas Eve. I think we're about to find out who the winner was. I mean, it's Christmas Eve. We have to have a sleigh, right? Santa just cannot believe what the elf teams have achieved. He looks at each craft carefully, amused and proud as he can be. And with a jolly slap, he says, so interesting, so much fun, so clever, each and every one. But nothing seems exactly right. Not quite perfect, just not quite for this very special night. Hmm. So all of those contraptions and gizmos and just brilliant feats of engineering, but Santa says, not quite right. What are we gonna do? Turn the page, obviously. But the smallest member of Tim's crew had known just what he had to do. He's been working privately as hard as at work as one can be on a secret backup plan. Surprise. And no one can believe their eyes. Oh, do you see that gleaming bright and looking perfect and new? It's the original sleigh. 
Here comes Santa's sleigh, restored, ready to go, with the toys on board. Just like magic, out it glides, the 500-year-old classic ride. Pulled along by nine reindeer, strong and trusty, never fear. Always ready, always quick, all set to guide their guy, St. Nick. <laughs> I knew it, I knew it. You did know it, Abuela Bear, and you were watching? Oh, Jess, and I had a funny feeling, a storyteller. A funny feeling that said what exactly? Oh, that the original could not be improved upon because sometimes new is just different, but not better. Ask me how I know. Because you're an original, Abuela. <laughs> She's so smart. I can't believe it. So we have the beautiful original sleigh here. Santa jumps on, the sleigh takes flight. Look at that, perfect. And the reindeer, thank goodness, because if they lost their jobs after all these years, I would imagine there would be a whole entire reindeer revolt. I would read that book. Of course you would. You would probably write that book and incite the riot. <laughs> Don't give me ideas. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. Ah, uh, Santa jumps on, the sleigh takes flight, lifting up, up, up into the night, disappearing deep into the sky as all the elf teams wave. Goodbye, goodbye, Santa, goodbye, see you soon. Then the elves stop. They look around and see all lined up on the ground the custom rides that they designed all fueled and polished, looking fine. A smile crosses each of face. And together, they all shout, Let's race! Oh, oh, oh is this the part where the blood-curling screams begin and the fierce competition? Ah, uh, which happened? Uh, guess green thing. Bear. Uh, thing. Uh, I, I'm just, I'm waiting for the real action to get started. You know, the furious part of the Fast and Furious. Um, I think that this is, like, you don't understand. It's more like a friendly competition. So, what, 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 I, I don't even know why those two words go together. There's no such thing as a friendly competition. Yeah, well, yeah, of course, because it's like, they're all friends. Yes, we're Jefferson, it's just a friendly competition. You're all enjoying inventing something, and then you want to, it's like, it's like playtime. Do you understand that? Uh, no, uh. <laughs> it's funny, she doesn't understand. I know, it is kind of funny, she doesn't understand. But look at this, it's incredible. Can you imagine how much fun they're having? There's Santa whirling around the world, working hard to bring us all the presents, and these guys are like, playtime! And frankly, haven't they earned it? They have worked all year long to bring you the gifts and make them all, right? So now this is their time to cut loose and have a good time and fly and just be careful, guys. Some of those were a little bit iffy, some of those. And I like that one. I think that might be my favorite one right there, the ship in the sky. Although the UFO is pretty cool and the submarine, no, never mind. I don't want to do the submarine. But the ship in the sky, I like that one. Oh! No! Oh, 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 oh! Now this is an ending. I can bet behind. Ah, oh, yes. I see that you're stuck. Ooh, do you need a broom? He doesn't need a broom. Do you need a bat to come get you down? He doesn't need a bat. Just go, 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 go. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Somebody's cranky. Go! I don't know why she comes by for Christmas. She doesn't celebrate Christmas. Um, I think we may have, however, realized what happened to the sleigh before. <laughs> oh, Santa, did you get a little sleepy and miss, just miss? Because, I mean, at least the bag is empty, so the toys got delivered and the sun's coming up, and I hope somebody comes to rescue him. Um, and maybe, well, just maybe, they can try one of these crazy 12 sleeves of Christmas next Christmas. That was awesome. I think that my favorite one was that one that goes underwater and stuff. Yeah, I like that one. No, you know, that's cool. I I, I mean, you, you can decide which one is your favorite, too. Oh, and, and you know I like the original. And, and I like the part where he got stuck. Oh. Hello, Abuela Bear. Hello, we Jeffy Saint. Are you being naughty? Oh, I just, I was, um. Maybe. Do you want a cookie? Will that make you feel better? Are, are there are there bats in it? No. Oh, okay, I'll, I'll have one anyway. Follow me. You're just hungry. Okay, okay, I'm, I'm gonna go with a well bear. I, I don't know what's... 
She has a spell on me, I think. Wow. I think we may have just witnessed a Christmas miracle. All right, kid. Merry Christmas from all of us here at Kid Tie Story Time. Yeah.